Hi guys, welcome to my channel Vitsila Vitena. Today we are trying to change modem on Lenovo Yoga 2 Pro. The reason why we do it because computer cannot initialize modem anymore and when I try to connect to internet it show me then there are no internet connection. Okay, we're going to replace the modem in Anna's Lenovo uh, Yoga 2 Pro. She started getting disconnects um, on her wireless and uh, eventually couldn't even initialize the modem anymore. So we thought it's probably the broken modem. So we went on Amazon, got actually an upgraded modem. This one's supposed to be a little bit better model. Um, does more protocols. You can put the specs down below. Uh, it comes in a little anti-static bag. We got this off of Amazon. And it was, I think, only about $15. So they're not very expensive to get a new modem. I also bought this little tool that has the right, um, I think it's a T4, to take these screws off the back so we can open this up. Um, also first you want to make sure you discharge yourself of any static electricity. I actually touched um, the faucet before this, which is grounded. Pipes are very well grounded in homes and apartments. So let's get the back off of this thing. And this is magnetized, which is nice. Chris has kindly helped me with this not easy task, but he said actually it's very easy, so we'll see if it is easy. Well, we'll see. Yeah, first we've got a little T4 device to remove the screws in the back. Uh, they came out pretty easily. And now we will try to gently get the back off of this thing. Do you need a hammer for that? A uh, hammer would get it off very easily, but I think we want to put it back on again. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, there's looks like there's a couple little snaps in the back here. Just go along the back edge and pull that apart. So, some fingernails. Ha! <laughs> Oops. Yeah, okay. I see, guys, you need to be a little careful with that because... <laughs> There it's we go. falling apart very easily. Now this is the old modem right here. I'm strapped on a couple little tiny connectors. And here's our new modem. Comes in an anti-static bag and you want to make sure that you ground yourself just before you do this so you don't have any static electricity which could potentially damage the parts. This is, just so you know, it's an Intel 7260 NGW dual band. So this is actually better than, I'm trying to so you can see it, this is actually better than the modem that's in here, I think, which is a single band. So it's also an upgrade in addition to being a replacement. And we got this on Amazon, I think it was between $10 and $15, so it's not terribly expensive. And the first step is we will get this modem out. So you can see here there are a couple little wires that attach. There's an antenna. I know one of them, and I forget what the other is, a ground perhaps. Uh, and there's a little screw holding it in right there. So we'll start by popping these uh, antenna leads off. And we need something small like a toothpick. Let's see if I can get underneath one of these and just pop it off gently with a toothpick. Yep, that one came off pretty easily. There's the black, which is usually ground. And let's hold that out of the way. This other one's probably the antenna. Also snapped off pretty easily. <laughs> That's good. Then we'll take this little screw out right here so we can remove the modem. And that is a, let's see, is it also T4? No. So now I gotta find the right right here. It's holding the modem in. And which one do you use? This is a tiny Phillips. There we go. And now we will gently lift the modem out. So I want to get rid of this uh, seal here. Yeah, very good. And then pull it out of its connection right there. So there's the old awesome. one out. And now we will open up the new one. There 
is our new one. And very gently insert that in. There we go, that was pretty easy. And take our little Phillips screw, put that back in. And just snug it a little bit. And now see if we can pop these leads back on it. Starting with the antenna. Oh, it's very tiny. They're like little uh, sort of 9 volt battery connectors. That's it. Uh, thanks to Anna, the little clips are now attached and I think we're ready to give it a try. So that's the new modem in. This is the battery. Looks to be in good shape while we're in here. We inspect that. And we will just clip the back on. Put them on pretty easily. There we go. And we'll just put our screws back in. And I love that this uh, is magnetic. So guys, problem solved. I get my internet connection back. Nothing hard to do. Computer just asked me to put my modem password. Nothing changed, so very easy, just take a couple minutes. So problem was with old modem and um, thank you Chris, everything nicely done. Bye guys, see you next time.